January the 2nd of 1890 was a cold day, but a clear one. It was the first business day of that brand new decade. Sometime on that Thursday, 34-year-old Abilene farmer by the name of Willis Norwood passed through the doors of the Farmers and Merchants National Bank. He greeted the three employees, made his way to the counter, and there he entrusted a sum of his hard-earned cash to a brand new bank. The 17-year-old teller was named Henry James. He took the cash and counted it, tucked it into the drawer, and then he hand recorded Mr. Norwood's transaction on page one of the bank's ledger. And with that action, a forward motion began in Abilene, a motion whose momentum has only increased over time. Only two businesses can claim a longer continual presence in Abilene than First Financial Bank. Abilene Printing and Stationery, an offshoot of the Abilene Reporter News, and a business that was owned for 70 years by Mr. George Anderson, who began banking with farmers and merchants in 1894. It was the city's oldest business that printed their best wishes for the town's newest in 1890. Every business endeavor begins simply as the inspired thought of one person. And that's how it's been for First Financial Bank. It was the imagined idea of one man. Today, that idea has grown into a $3 billion enterprise, one that has helped to shape and grow not just Abilene, but West Texas and Texas beyond. The man with the idea was a 43-year-old Texas transplant named Fleming Wills James. Described as a lion-hearted soldier and a gifted speaker, he was a man filled with optimism and enthusiasm. Living in Baird, James felt that the fledgling town of Abilene, a town which then was just approaching her ninth birthday, had a population of only 3,000, and was already home to two banks, was a town with room for opportunity. So at a time when Abilene was barely scraping out an economy, Fleming James, along with four investors, set out to open a bank. <music> 